The head of Windows at Microsoft, Pavan Davuluri, just said that the future of Windows is it evolving into an agentic OS. And what that is, is a buzzword, which means an AI that has the ability to act independently, make decisions, and pursue goals, instead of just responding to instructions. In more human terms, we could describe this as an OS with agency. And I think that's really concerning. Do we really want an operating system that acts independently of user input? Wasting system resources on endless AI-powered pop-ups that have read your personal files in an attempt to be useful? Or do we want an operating system that gets out of the way and lets you use your computer as you see fit? In this video, I'll argue for the latter. Okay, so let's take a step back. What would an agentic Windows look like? Well, if we follow the trends over the last few years with Copilot and other similar tools, it's clear that it means AI at every turn, all the time. Imagine you're looking to buy a new house, and you're doing some research online. And then you get a pop-up that says, hey, I noticed you've been saving a few screenshots of house listings and budget files. Would you like me to make a moving plans folder for you? That's something that's plausible now. Windows already indexes your files and recognises patterns. And maybe you find it slightly weird, but also kind of useful. Okay, cool. What about this? Imagine you're importing photos from your phone, and then you get a pop-up that says, Hi, I noticed a new person has been appearing in photos with you and your friend Jake. Is this his girlfriend? If you give me her name, I can recognise her and make the association for you for future organisation. And you might think, okay, that is really invasive, but also still kind of useful. We've had photo apps that recognise faces for years. But its understanding is deeper than that. Still not convinced? What about something more extreme? Imagine you've just ended a private video call and you get a pop-up that says, Hey, I noticed that you smiled when your mum showed her cat, Pablo. I've tagged cats as something that makes you smile, and will offer a cute cat pic when I think you need a boost. This is not out of the realm of possibility. Microsoft have invested tens of billions of dollars into AI, and they're not slowing down. We already know that Facebook ran, and may still run, tests that emotionally manipulate a select group of users. Is it so crazy to think that Windows might do something similar? This isn't happening now, but honestly, to me, it already feels like this. Current Copilot and AI tools feel like a violation of privacy. Why should my operating system be organising and manipulating my life independently? And I think there's a better way. Linux. So should you switch to Linux? After all, its mascot is a cute penguin called Tux. This wonderful 3D printed Linux penguin is something you could make with this video sponsor, Justway. Justway specialise in CNC machining, sheet metal, 3D printing, injection moulding, and urethane casting. So if you've got a project and need something bespoke, Justway have you covered. You can upload your own files or use someone else's. You'll get an instant quote, so you know exactly where your project stands. If you're looking for reliable service and good quality, check out Justway via the link in the description. So, Linux then. Linux is a whole other operating system, and it's been around for decades. It's a free alternative to Windows and macOS that you can install on your computer right now. And there's no need to worry about AI tools taking over your experience, or random and unnecessary violations of your privacy. Linux is open source, and built by people who are passionate about it, not those looking to make billions of dollars at any cost. And I really think it's ready for mainstream use. But what do you need to consider first? Well, Linux is an operating system, not a program. That usually means backing up your files and then erasing your entire computer. You'll need to do this unless you have a second system drive to dedicate to Linux. Secondly, you might not be able to run the same programs on Linux. We've come a long way in the past few years with things like Proton, which allow you to run a massive library of Steam games on Linux, and great alternatives to work and creative software but you'll need to do your own research to see if your programs will run, and if not, whether the alternatives are good enough for you. Thirdly, Linux can be a bit quirky sometimes. I really believe that it's getting more and more friendly all the time, but if you're someone who doesn't want any troubleshooting at all, ever, Linux probably isn't for you. I'm not saying that to scare you off. I've had a fantastic experience on Linux Mint and Fedora over the past couple of years. No problems at all. But this can be a bit dependent on your specific programs and hardware, so do some research in that area too. Check out the other videos on my channel for guides on how to switch to Linux, how to back up your files, and how to test it safely without risking your Windows installation. 
In the meantime, I'll leave it there for now. This was just a short video to get you thinking about what you want from your PC. And I think that you deserve an operating system that gets out of your way and puts you in control. But I'm keen to hear from you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you care about all of these changes that Microsoft are making to Windows? Would you bother switching to Linux? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.